What's up guys? In this video we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're using ChatGPT to come up with a DIY CO2 system setup. Now I don't know about you guys but I don't often use ChatGPT unless I'm using it for like mental health issues. Ha, just kidding. Hire a therapist. Anyways, it can be incredibly helpful and as you can see it listed all the different materials that I'm going to need for this project as well as step-by-step -step instructions um, so that way I don't mess it up, hopefully. Uh, and don't forget to be polite because one day AI will be in charge. Uh, anyways, then I went ahead and ordered all of the different items from the materials list that was provided to me. Uh, thank you, ChatGPT. And don't worry about um, stopping and trying to take screenshots because if you want to try this at home, I will leave all of the links to the different items that I purchased down in the description. So now that that's ordered, we're going to have to wait a couple days before we can set it up. Stuff's here. So these are all the ingredients that we need for this CO2 mixture. It is just two cups of sugar, um, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a teaspoon of that dry active yeast. So for following the instructions that ChatGPT gave us, uh, we're just going to first add the sugar into this bottle. I'm using one of these because I know myself, and if I don't, the sugar is going to be all over the counter. So. In goes two cups of sugar. Next, we're adding the baking soda. So, um, I already messed up um, because I only had a one liter bottle and it said two liter bottle in the instructions, but it's not a problem. I'll just pour out half of the sugar um, and then we'll proceed. Now we're going to fill it up halfway with warm water. But you don't want it too hot because you don't want it to kill the yeast. Halfway full. Now we're going to shake it until it's all dissolved. Now we can go ahead and add the yeast. Now half a teaspoon because I had to cut the recipe in half. And then you're going to go ahead and fill the bottle up two inches from the top. So now we can go ahead and cap this loosely and set it aside for a few minutes while we prepare all of the tubing for it. Here's a close-up of the bottle. I thought this looked cool. So the materials for the next part, we're going to need some tubing and then we'll also need the diffuser and then check valve. Uh, I'm not super sure how necessary this is, but it was included in the instructions so I figured I would try it. So we need a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the tube itself. Right. Oh, this one actually looks like it works. So just so you guys can see, it's just slightly smaller than the tubing. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Now I'm going to drill over this cardboard box just so that way there's no chance of me accidentally going onto the countertop and I'm just going to try and put it as center as I can. Not exactly the center, but that's all right. I ended up needing the slightly bigger bit. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. You might need to apply a little bit of pressure. Oh, perfect. So it wanted me to use silicone or hot glue uh, to seal any space in between the tube and the lid in case any of the CO2 were to escape. But I don't have either of those things, so I'm just going to be using um, some gel super glue. And that should work just as good. All right, and here's a close up so you guys can see what I just did. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and put our valve in. And so I'm going to cut right here. Whoops. 
Okay, and then I'm going to shove this end into here. And this is to stop any of the water from the aquarium flowing into the CO2 mixture. Not that I think that will happen, but just a safety precaution. This is about as far in as I could get it. It is a very tight, um, so I think that'll be fine. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to do the same on this end and hopefully it goes better. Push. <laughs> All right, guys, that's as good as I could get it. So now we can go ahead and put the lid on and then we'll cut the rest of this pipe after we measure out how much we need um, still for the tank. So we'll go ahead and add the diffuser over on the tank. I forgot to mention earlier in the video that this CO2 setup is for this Nano Iwagumi um, that I set up a while ago doing dry start. Um, and it's only been a few weeks, but I'm kind of impatient. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill it up with water. So we want our CO2 to be sitting underneath the filter or the flow anyway, so that way it pushes and really circulates the CO2 around the tank. So I'm just going to make a cut. So I'll go ahead and just cut right here. And then just a little trick, I have a little bowl of warm water that I microwaved and I'm just going to set the tube in here for a little bit so that way it warms it up, soften it a little bit so it's a little easier to fit onto the diffuser. All right, we'll go ahead and see if it will fit now. All right, that's about as far on as I can get it because it is very snug. And we'll just go ahead and place this directly underneath where the flow is. And it's gonna take a little bit of time for the pressure to build up for the CO2 to start coming out. So give it maybe 30 minutes to like an hour and um, then you'll probably start seeing some bubbles. It's been about an hour now. And as you can see, the CO2 is flowing nicely. And because it's positioned underneath the filter, it's getting um, circulated through the tank a little easier. So as you can see, there's bubbles way over here on the side of the tank as well. So just make sure to put it under your filter um, so that way you get nice circulation of the CO2. All right, and that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, as you guys saw, it wasn't too complicated to figure out how to set this thing up and it also didn't take too long, so that's a bonus. But in maybe like a month or two, I'll give a full review of the CO2 system just so that way I can see how I like it over time. Um, so make sure you subscribe so that way you guys don't miss that video. Um, but anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yes, please like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.